Hi Cancer, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the rules can be resting between you and your person. And with that said, let's take a quick look at what the universe has for you, Cancer. Okay, again, these are still general readings. This is not a personal, so please keep in mind that not everything is going to resonate with all of you. So... Oh my goodness, let's take a quick look for cancer. Sorry if I sound sick. I was sick. Um, I'm getting my voice back. So, sorry about that if I sound sick and if it's disgusting. I don't mean it. I just can't help it. <laughs> we got the judgment card right here. We got the hangman in reverse and the page of swords. We got Libra energy, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Seven of Cups in Reverse. We got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, your energy. The Five of Pentacles in Reverse. We got an Earth sign as well, such as Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles, more Earth sign. Page of Cups, more water, and Ace of Cups in the Reverse, more water, and the Tower in Reverse, Scorpio energy. Oh my goodness, let me just fix this wig before. So, uh, let's take a look at the judgment here. So there is a decision pending here, a situation pending that keeps you in a... Um, I don't know, like a weird position, meaning that you really do not know if you should let go or you should stay. It's like makes you feel uncomfortable in a way, makes you feel like limbo, makes you feel perhaps a little bit lost, right? Because again, there's a pending situation that needs to be finalized that is not finalized because it is pending once again. With the Page of Swords right here and the Page of Cups, there's a message that you will have been trying to to get that you haven't like maybe perhaps you're literally waiting for a person to text you perhaps this means that you're waiting for somebody for for some sort of action or some sort of like sign that they care and you haven't gotten that and you're holding on to some sort of emotions here you're trying to hold on to good news you're trying to hold on to positivity but little by little i feel like your joy and your positivity over this connection has been getting lost throughout time because age of cups in the reverse every time you hope for something or you read this or they're telling you that it's like you get your highs up your high hopes up right of course and then you get disappointed which leads to a very dark situation of heartbreak and you having to rebuild whatever has been broken you know Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles and Vivers. Um, also, you feel like you're getting, you're running out of time, running out of choices, running out of like exits. It's like you really do not know what's going on. You do not know what's going, to, what's going next. It's like you're literally feeling like you're running out of options and running out of time for some reason. You feel like by by the second this connection is disappearing like this opportunity is disappearing and you're like what should i do i'm so lost the tower moment in reverse you have been going through the tower moment for a while and it's coming to an end but even though that is coming to an end <coughs> sorry and others of you it's already over you really haven't understood the journey you really do not know what's going on like you don't understand it i see like you're very very confused Let's see. What can you give me for cancer and their connection right now? This specific connection. Thank you, Spirit, for the cards. We got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This Earth sign, Leo energy. Six of Wands, Leo Sagittarius. We got the Justice in reverse, Libra energy. The Scales. We got the Nine of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Swords. So I see a lot of uh, air sign here. A lot of fire also. The Death card right here. So... I feel like you have been feeling ignored by your person. You feel very, very ignored by them. You feel like they're having um, a good life without you. You're like, oh my God, I can't really find contentment. I can really find what I had with this person in my person. Whoever this is, is ignoring me or they're actually not thinking of me. That's what you think. But with the six of ones right here, I feel like your person is not having a good time either. They're not actually going through anything fun. They're not going through anything that... I could tell you it's like better than you. I think you both are quite stuck in different in different ways. And you both are wanting to find your happiness and your person and your happy ending. And you guys are still like not able to find it. It's like you guys walk, walk, walk. And there's that shared energy. And you guys don't get to what you want to get. And this is not only you, but like I said before, your person as well. 
with a justice right here. Let's see. In the Knight of Wands in the reverse right here. I know that you wanted some resolution. You wanted some like factor that you wanted to <coughs> be able to take that decision. But like I said before, this person that, that you're dealing with is dealing with some sort of like um, what I can feel from the card. Some sort of like legal situation. And that is actually acting up as the biggest blockage here. Um, not only, but one of the biggest blockage of them not coming forward. I feel like it's going to take a little bit longer for you guys to cut that cord with this person. Um, I don't feel your person coming forward just yet because they are very, very stuck with something that involves legal matters. Okay. With a ten of swords in the reverse right here. They don't want to hurt you though. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want to give you high hopes and break your heart. They don't want to do that. It's just like they're unable to come forward because they need to make amends with the past. They need to pick up everything they broke on the way or whatever they caused in the past. They need to break it. All of you, this person is trying to give it a chance with their ex, but I'm going to tell you it's not going to work. They're going to break up again because they're not they're there for kids i heard that if they have kids with whoever they're trying to work things out with their ex but it's not gonna work with herman in reverse this person is not gonna be in silence forever let give it a minute and they come and they're gonna come forward they're gonna come through um towards you by the way but right now like i said before your person i feel like they're dealing with a lot of stuff a lot of stuff in their life and they're not gonna come forward <coughs> they're not precisely ignoring you they just have bigger things to attend meaning that they have a lot of issues and problems in their life that they need to figure it out before even thinking about love so what is their um cancer's person uh feelings towards cancer what are their current feelings So they're not able to make the move with the King of Swords here. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Le Six of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, um, <clears throat> Aries. They're not doing. They're not capable of doing it right now, but it is going to happen on the right time. Again, you might not be waiting for them anymore. You might not want them anymore, and that's totally fine. But they're going to do it once they get their stuff together because there's a certain unbalance that needs, that they feel they need to get together before coming forward. It's like something in their life. But they will still come back. They're not out of your energy just yet. Again, you want them back. It's totally fine if you don't want them, but they're coming in i feel some of you have been having very vivid dreams you have been having others of you have been having nightmares and it's like feeling stressed out depressed uh drained with the two of ones right here the two of swords right here because sadly for you guys you guys are so connected with your past person or with this person that you're actually taking some of their energies with you with the two of ones right here for you to stop being so stressed out and so drained, you need to please start working um, pretty much in like walking on the park. If you can, of course, wherever you live, try to maybe to work out, maybe try to get yoga just to get you occupied because your energies are so entangled with this person that you are draining and taking their energies, which is not working out for you because you are very, very tired. The two of swords right here. I know that you are seeking for harmony, resolution, trying to make sure that everything ends because you're tired. You're tired, like I said before. But you need to take the blind off and pretty much take care of yourself. It seems to be that you are so focused in this connection. You're so focused in why they don't talk to me and why they don't talk to me that you're not putting putting attention to yourself that's one of the things they told me but you need to take the blindfold out and pretty much start accepting what the situation might be with your person such as they could be going through stuff as well as they could be just not wanting to reach out right now so 
you clinging into this idea is not helping and like i said before you need to start focusing on yourself and focus in other things when this person wants to come back they will come back because like i said before with the four of swords right here they don't want to right now your person right here like i said and i'm gonna go back to your person is very stressed out they can't sleep they have a lot of nightmares they're actually wanting this person wants to move and they want to also go on vacation because they want to get out of this toxicity that surrounds them and they're unable to um, right now they're very defensive and they feel like everybody's against them like whatever the situation with money is happening they feel very very stuck very unhappy like i said before a thousand times and they need to take off the blindfold and pretty much accept it and pretty much face it which they have been trying to avoid for a while and i don't feel it's gonna work anymore um you are their security so don't be surprised uh <coughs> cancer if they reach out to you to talk to vent because they see you with the queen of cups as their security as their home as somebody they can talk to um they're gonna tell you right here that they're actually completely with whoever their ex might be um it seems to be that they have kids with them but uh they're gonna tell you that they're trying to get into calmer waters because right now they're going through turbulence but again be expecting a text message because they feel secure and they feel confident to talk to you so um right now it's like they see you as their i was gonna say their temple but that's not what i meant to say as I don't know as their security as their home like i said before like they do have some feelings for you but right now they're so worried girl so worried boy that they can't they can't make up their mind right now but it has nothing to do with you at this point if you wanted to know okay it has nothing to do with you they, they do like you that you care it's just like they're going crazy right now and there's nothing that you can do to help them, like I said before, because it's not your problems. It's not your life just yet. It's theirs. So the same way you have to figure it out your stuff in your life, they have to be able to figure it out their stuff in their life as well. So not to be mean, but I'm just telling you, if you were asking, how can I help him? How can I help her? You can't. They have to figure it out on their own. You got to wait for them to reach out to you. And the best way you can do is just be there for them to listen to them. That's all you can do. And give them advice, of course. Is it worth waiting for this person for cancer? Is a cancer, if is a cancer's person worth waiting for? The hero fun, okay. So yes and no because I feel like this person and you, you guys are not. Once you guys get together, I don't feel this person wants to get married. So if you want marriage as the paper, it's not going to happen because they don't want to right now. Because of course, like I said, they're going through a lot of legal issues. They have actually gone through divorce and so on and so on and yada, yada, yada. But there's a chance of you guys. Yes, it is worth it because you guys are going to be together yet again. Not married with paper, but you guys are going to be together as dating, perhaps living together. If you only are willing to accept marriage trust me they're not going to give you give you that right now so either or you take what they give you or you walk away because it's not just only your conditions i do understand that you know what we want what we want but it's not saying that they're not going to give you that ever it's just right now or whenever you guys get together it's not going to be marriage right away i feel like you guys are <clears throat> actually getting stronger this connection will get stronger and you're gonna get stronger as well your person is not gonna hold back anymore and you guys are perhaps willing to work on things together but i see you guys are taking it very slow you guys you both want to take things slow uh for some reason cancer you're gonna enjoy your independence um it seems to be that you're gonna be independent in some way there's also heartbreak because somebody has to leave somebody um but yet again be aware that this person does not want marriage right now they want to be with you in a way somebody's gonna leave somebody it could be you it could be the other person like i said like if you are taken you have to leave your person to be with this person but before giving it all with this person or to this person use the minute 
to get to know them because you don't want to be just a, a shoulder to cry on. You want to be more than that. So for others of you, you might get a different outcome, but make sure to not be taken for granted, to not be taken your to for your kindness to not be taken as as a weakness. Okay. But once again, there's a chance that you guys can work out together. Others of you, I feel like you guys are gonna get together and you guys are gonna realize that this is not your person. I mean, like I said before, soulmates are not always the one that is gonna be the one there for you. Soulmates sometimes are the ones who are gonna break your heart. So you're gonna get your wish not everybody some people some different stories some people are gonna be with this person others of you are gonna have the chance and gonna realize that oh, oh i don't want this person for this and you guys are gonna walk away from them so <coughs> overall happy endings and resolutions for some cancers okay and with that said let me just give you some initials some descriptions to see if they oh my goodness if the universe wants to give it to me like i said before i'm trying to keep it light i don't want to bore you guys but like I said, I know this is not the kind of readings that, that gives love and like, oh, a lot of a lot of likes. But honesty goes along the way. And once you realize that I'm not lying to you, you come back. We have Capricorn. We got dark brown hair. We got a place. We got B as a boy. Thank you, Spirit. We got Aquarius right here. We got not your usual type. We got tall. We got younger energy. No. We got CS and cat. Any other one? Please and thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. We got X. <clears throat> and we got tattoos. O at the bottom of the deck. And let's see. N A. So those are all the initials for some of you, okay? Collective initials. If it's not showing up here. Oh, don't have a heart attack it's not a big of a deal like this is for some people like i said this is collective it's not everybody's um initials are gonna be here you know so you know otherwise i will stay here until like midnight so what is the advice for my beautiful cancers We got 38 Forest Floric here, and it says, I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to joy, to the joy she brings. And then we got 37, and we have Crystal Ascension. I am attuned to the universe wisdom and energy of the Crystal Kingdom here. Crystal Child here. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back this week with more readings. Bye. Love ya.